Am I the asshole? For using my friend's logic against her and making her cry. I went no contact with my narcissistic family last year as I was done being their scapegoat. My friend was encouraging me to call my mother and reconcile for Mother's Day and I explained again the emotional and mental abuse I went through and her refusal to take accountability or seek therapy. She then lectured me on how it's hard being a parent she's a parent I'm not that as the eldest you should have helped your mother around the house more and with your younger siblings. And that I should let bygones be bygones and call my mother for Mother's Day. I told her so you think if I had done more chores and accepted more parentification as a kid then I wouldn't have been abused. If it's too hard to be decent to your kids then you shouldn't be a parent. Maybe you should have helped your abusive ex-husband around the house more, maybe you shouldn't have had dinner 10 minutes late, BC you know his job is stressful and it's hard being a provider and father. Is Father's Day you should call and reconcile with him. How could I as a child stop the abusive behavior of an adult when as an adult you couldn't stop your husband from abusing you? She cried and walked off. Our mutual friends agree she was wrong to pressure me to reconcile with my mother but she meant well and didn't understand, and you took it too far I did it to make a point on how abuse isn't okay from anyone even your parents. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. I hate people like that. I have a strained relationship w my mother as well and it fucking grinds my gears when someone tells me I have to make up with her because she's my mom. Friend needs to get out of her bubble and realize some parents just aren't good parents. Not the asshole once your friend emotions started to fill with sadness, she should have realized that's the exact feeling she's giving to you each time she made those comments. That's where she should have apologized. No, she didn't mean well. She assumed being a parent made her a specialist and thought she knew better than you about your own experience. You were not cruel, you help a mirror of how invalidating she was being in a way she understands. Now she gets it. And she doesn't hear, because of her experiences. Not the asshole she didn't get it before. No matter how kindly you put it. I'm betting now she has a full picture of what the ask really means to you. Yay. She didn't understand, so you tried to make her understand, by putting it in terms that meant something personal to her. And she didn't like it. Well, boo-hoo, maybe next time she can try to have a little empathy before opening her mouth or just trying being quiet in the first place. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. A lot of people who make arguments like that including the friend encouraging you to apologize to her tend to be scared that in the future they'll be treated similarly. She's a mom, she's afraid of her kids doing this to her. The friend is a friend, they're afraid of doing something to earn similar treatment. Unfortunately they choose to try and make you lessen your reaction instead of just making sure they don't earn the treatment. Not the asshole people really need to stop lecturing kids about reconciling with abusive parents. It seems like it's socially acceptable to tell people who were abused that it is their responsibility to mend that relationship. Which is, of course, BS. Not the asshole. Brilliant sometimes that's what it takes. She is crying because having this growth experience is uncomfortable. You did nothing wrong. You gave her the chance to back off from her foolishness, but she pushed you. And now she understands how it feels. If you lose her friendship, then it's because she is unwilling to understand what she was doing to you by guilting you about Mother's Day. Not the asshole. You didn't take it too far. Your friend was way out of line. Not the asshole. Well said. You spoke the truth and sometimes the truth hurts. Not the asshole. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You both suffered from abuse, which is something neither of you deserved, but she dismissed your abuse and made excuses for your abuser and she was serious. You were not serious when telling her to forgive her ex, merely making a point and she couldn't handle it. Hopefully you finally got the point across and there won't be another again of you explaining this to her. You only said the exact same logic to her as she did to you. How can you be anything else than not the asshole? 
Not the asshole you are my hero everybody needs to hear this. Well, she understands now, doesn't she? Not the asshole. Some people need a picture drawn for them before they begin to comprehend what someone else has experienced. The temerity of her and her defenders in judging you when they have not stood in your shoes. Maybe you should free yourself of people that don't have enough functioning neurons to understand that they know too little to have an informed opinion? Not the asshole. Now she understands and if it hurt her feelings then maybe she'll learn to mind her business in the future. Not the asshole and you didn't take it too far. What, does her trauma trump yours by dint of being more recent? Does she get to poke your sore spot over and over but you don't get to say anything? Your mutual friend doesn't fully grasp what your mother did to you, or they wouldn't be saying this. Same for your meddlesome friend. Not the asshole. If she did not understand, you now set her straight. She actually should apologize now if she actually does understand that as a child you had even less ability to prevent abuse. No. Not ah. Not all parents are good parents. You shouldn't be forced to turn the other cheek just because they are your parents. Family is not an excuse for abuse. If this is what it took for her to understand this, is up to her and not you. Not the asshole. She shouldn't have tried to pressure you into reconciling with your abusive parent, especially as someone who went through abuse. She didn't mean well at all, she wanted to feel superior over you. The fact that she was victim blaming you is so toxic. Not the asshole. I feel like maybe she's projecting her own fears onto you and your mom. People who escape abusive situations often fear their kids will hate them for disrupting the status quo because the kids were happy enough. That doesn't mean she has the right to pressure you after you've been pretty blunt that it was abuse. It was way too far to suggest you were responsible for the abuse, and you using that same logic is harsh but a wake-up call. It's clear you don't really believe it you were making a point because she keeps pressuring and blaming you. Not the asshole and maybe I'm being cynical but I suspect your friend still doesn't understand your point of view otherwise she would have reached out to you and apologized. Well done. As a DV survivor I wouldn't want to have it thrown in my face but with the pressure she was putting on you to call your mother I think you used the only example she could understand. I hope she realizes she is wrong to get in the middle of your family dynamics. Not the asshole. Nope Natar. She needed it put into perspective for her that she could relate to and understand she may have had good intentions but it's not her place nor is it okay for her to push and push after you say no the first time. Not the asshole. Your friends is stupid as hell and ignorant of your feelings. Not the asshole, everything you said was the truth. Absolutely not the asshole. Even if she didn't understand before, she does now. Everything you said true and consistent with her logic. I'm sorry your mom sucked. Not the asshole. You know you're going to get a call or text demanding an apology for hurting your feelings. You tell her the hurt you feel I and is the hurt I felt when you talked to me about my mother. Not the asshole, and kudos I'm glad you took it there. Your friend needed a frame of reference. Not the asshole it may be harsh for someone who doesn't know what it is. But how can you blame a child for the abuse he received? I heard the same stupid statements from friends as well. And no, my parents behavior towards me wasn't my fault. And it wasn't your fault either. Gosh did I heard it a lot you'll understand when you have kids. Three kids later and no I didn't change my mind, they were just shitty parents. Yes having kids is hard. But if you can refrain yourself from abusing them, don't have them. Not the asshole. No, you did not take it too far. Not the asshole. What a comeback from your friend's stupid suggestion. You have ended the friendship, right? Not the asshole. You didn't take it too far. Not the asshole. I had very similar conversations with several people before. Usually they grew up in a loving home and low-key still dependent on their parents so could not fathom the idea that a child could alienate themselves from their parents. 
your friend suffers from a condition called not thinking before you open your mouth, and there's no cure at her age. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, it was harsh, but she refused to hear you until you made yourself be heard. As a fellow child of an abusive mother, and a mother myself, let me reiterate that no one owes their mother anything. Even if they are good mothers, or great mothers, we owe them nothing. And I tell my now grown kids the same thing. I said to my kids that while I love when they spend time with me, I know that they don't owe me a fucking thing. You didn't continue to do what you needed op. So not the asshole. I never understood when someone says something it's oh they meant well or they didn't mean it etc but, when you give it back, you are wrong. I think you were perfect in using same logic. She can dish it but, not take it. Harsh, but appropriate. Not the asshole. Some people just can't understand another person's situation unless they see themselves in the example. Good job on explaining it to her. She gets it now. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, and you need better friends. This person sounds like those annoying people you meet who are into toxic positivity and act like nothing bad has ever happened to them. I hope you find some better friends who can get a clue. Not the asshole. She knew that was a hot button topic for you and she pushed it. You're not responsible for the fact that she couldn't handle what she triggered when she kept pushing. We don't get to choose our parents and we don't all get the Brady Bunch or leave it to be the TV show parents. If we're lucky, they're somewhere in the middle of those two, but many of us get parents that no one should ever have to live with. You went non-contact for reasons that are very valid to you and you don't need to justify them to anyone else.